Hi, it's Karen here. Thank you for joining me. Oh, it's a bit chilly today. So anyway, what I thought we would do is we would paint a very simple watercolour, um, kind of like the depths of winter really with a lone tree and keeping our palette nice and, and limited. Um, I'll put all the materials I use in the description below and let's get started. I hope you've all been good and had a good week. Um, I'm just using a an old piece of um, watercolour paper that I'm, I'm, I'm just going to use as as a palette so I can see what what colours that I'm I'm using now I am going in with um, some very light uh, watercolour um, just just dotting it in really um, just kind of just want to get where I want to put my horizon line so I'm just going to put some and maybe so what I'm going to do is with a bit more I'm just dropping in where I just put the um, water just to give me my nice natural looking um, horizon line okay not being overly precious with it because it's winter I'm using cool tones so again I'm just just see where I put that in. Uh, you will need some paper tissue um, for this painting just to be able to, to blot out and um, okay, just just putting some water in where I think I'd like some shadows to go, so I'm just popping that in there. It's nothing written in stone. And then blot it out and we'll get some nice, some nice marks. I'm going to change up my brush and I'm going to be using black. Be really careful with your black because I'm just going to drop in some black just to enhance the um, blue that I've put down. And as you can see, because my paper's wet, it's starting to spider up. I quite like that. Now I'm just going to take this blue and, and, and move it around only because it was a bit harsh for what I wanted and I'm just knocking it back. Okay. I want this to be a very, very simple, really, really simple um, painting. Just going to take that out. Okay. Now, hopefully, we'll get some really nice effects. And I'm just dropping my, just dropping my paint in. And then, because my my paint uh, my paper is still wet, I'm getting a really nice bleed on that, which is giving a really nice diffused look. Now, 
because this is the, the, the trunk of the tree I'm just I'm just putting in thicker lines and I'm just doing kind of like these spidery um, branches now you can if you prefer to let your your work dry and, and then work on layer on layer then you can do that but I I quite like the spontaneity of the way the um, paint works with the with the water okay now, if you if you want to take out you think that's a little bit too harsh then just block that out and you get some really nice effects from your um, from your tissue now we're going to put some stronger colour in um, the black do let your um, your brush run out of paint you'll get some really nice values with that and it's really just letting, letting the brush move over you're just going to put some stronger colour in there and I'm gonna we want to have on this painting I what I'd like is just to, for it to be very very soft and diffused put a few of these darker spidery put a thicker linen almost looks quite ghostly doesn't it on the other side now if you feeling that you you're not that impressed with the um, with what you've done here just take it out and that's fine and then you can it's a bit always have your spare bit of either a plate or sub vessel that you can and I'm just still getting that bleed which is lovely Okay, I'm just going to go in a, with a touch of the blue. Remember, you can we go from light to dark in watercolor, so build up up your layers.
just going to Not a fan of that that painted line there, so I'm just going to knock that knock that back. I'm going back up to where I blotted out before and just put some some of the Now when your work's dry, it's really nice to go back in and um, put some darker um, some darker um, values in. sure your brush is completely completely dry and then I'm just gonna grab a little bit of And I'm going to leave it there. I, it's a nice, simple, um, it's a nice, uh, simple uh, composition using a limited palette. Now, if you wanted to, when it's dry, you could splatter with some white, which in the top of the tree, which would give a, a nice effect. But I can't do that at the moment because it's it's still it's still too wet. But I hope you do give this a go. It's, it is simple and it really is nice to work with the water and the paint. So I hope you give this a go and uh, please let me know how you're getting on. I just want to share something with you before I go. I'm gonna um, just set this here. Um, one of the subscribers um, sent me some beautiful beautiful um, images of some of the work that, that she'd done and this is what she sent me she sent me the beautiful baubles and on hers she's put some glitter I don't know whether you can see that but it, it it's it's really beautiful and that's the red one and she also sent me this beautiful green one too and that's got sparklies on as well so Thank you so much, Jen. It really made me smile, and I'm so so pleased that you're you're painting along and you're putting another twist on it. So there you go. That's a big shout out for Jen, and thank you very much. So anyway, I hope you all have a good evening, a good day, and a good week. Take care. Bye. <laughs>